YouTube was good with y'all, man. Welcome back to another video. A lot of people been asking me if I know any music theory. No. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how I make hard dark beats from scratch without knowing any music theory at all. So let's go straight to it. making a beat you of course need a melody and drums uh do you need music theory for drums not at all do you need music theory for making melodies not at all so yeah, that's what i'm gonna prove to y'all in this video uh, i got a fell pulled up and i'm gonna be making something from scratch like i said before and i want to shout out my dog infinite for sending over his new kit his new multi kit kit keep sounds volume one and i want to thank him for actually sponsoring this video as well so for the sample i'm gonna be using uh some of the sounds of this kit we'll see where it goes but yeah the multi kit includes uh, an analog lab bank also with some instruction videos i believe for the people wondering why would i get this multi kit i don't even got analog lab five he also included one shot so Y'all go over to his channel and thank him for that because he also rendered out every single file or every single uh, sample into a one shot. I uh, got an effect track bank, some midis, bass lines, chords, melodies, synth leads, Omnisphere bank. For the people asking why would I get this kit, I don't even have Omnisphere. He actually took time of his day to render these out as well. So uh, you got one shots from the Omnisphere bank as well. Next up, we got a portal bank. We got an RC20 bank, some textures uh, and some mixer presets at the bottom right here. So yeah, if you're trying to add some new sounds to the collection, uh, level up your melody game a little bit, make sure to check this out. I'll have it linked down in the First link down in the description, as well as with the promo code. I got y'all, bro. Come on. But yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight to the sample, man. All right, so I got the BPM set to 168. Let's do 168. I'm going to load up Analog Lab with the Gatekeep Sounds uh, bank, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm going to brass the presets a little bit. Okay, I'll with that. So let's use that preset. So yeah, when starting a melody without knowing any music theory, you, of course, need some scale highlighting or some scale helpers. So what I'm going to do is click this arrow right here. Go to... I don't even know where it's at. Go to view right here. Go to scale highlighting. Uh, and let's go for D sharp minor. So yeah, now in this playlist right here, all the light colored notes are in the D sharp minor scale and all the dark notes, you don't want to touch them at all because they're out of key. So you want to make sure to stay in, uh, stay in the scale. So yeah, let's start on the root note, D sharp and uh, lay melody down. So when laying down dark melodies, you of course want to stay in the scale. And in the scale, as you can see, uh, sometimes there are two notes that are directly next to each other. So for example, this A sharp and this B right here, and this F and this F sharp right here. Yeah, what these notes do is they create a lot of tension since they're, like I said, next to each other in the scale. So uh, that's why I be using those a lot when making dark samples. For this melody right here, start out on the root note, then copy it up an octave to add some more high frequencies to it. Uh, fill up the frequency spectrum a little bit. Next, made it go up from D sharp to A sharp. And also pitch that up an octave right here. With this bottom note, I kind of delayed it a little bit to create a little bit of a rhythm, if that makes sense. With these notes in between right here, of course, using the half steps, I kind of made it go up. So from A sharp to B, then uh, up to D sharp right here, up to F and up to F sharp. Yeah, after that, no overthinking, just copied it over three more times. Yeah, like I said, since I'm not no music theory genius, uh, I think I'm gonna render it out and kind of play around with the sample like that instead of playing around with the notes. Cause like I said, I don't know any music theory. But before I render it out, lower these notes a little bit. Uh, do all or option R to randomize the velocities a little bit. And uh, yeah, like I said, when I master channel, click this button right here, do all or option R and uh, render it out. So now that we have it consolidated into an audio clip, I'm uh, flip it some more. So yeah, something I did real quick is reverse it right here and also pitch it down 200 cents. So instead of it being in D sharp minor, I believe it's now in C sharp minor. So I'm gonna send it to a mixer track and put some effects on it. So for the effects on the first melody, start out with the EQ, uh, cause I like to put EQs on my melodies, kind of cleaning it up a little bit before I put effects on it. Otherwise you're just basically setting yourself up a failure. So I cut some of the sub lows out, also lowered some of the low mids and uh, boost some of the high mids to kind of even it out a little bit. Next I got this finished chorus uh, plugin from Arturia, I believe. 
uh, kind of spaces it out a little bit, makes it more stereo. Next, I add some depth and some space to it. Added this Valhalla Vintage Verb with these settings right here. After that, uh, added some vinyl noise with RC20, used the vinyl three preset. And I also added some uh, distortion to it. And lastly, to clean it up once again, open up another uh, Paramage GQ. The thing I'm gonna do now is copy it over and make this unique. So I'm gonna pitch it up a whole octave. Uh, so it's basically a free way of getting a second melody. So yeah, make a new pattern now and uh, add a second melody to it. So I went and opened up the Gatekeep Sounds Volume 1 Omnisphere Bank. And I uh, browsed through some of the presets. We got this preset called Ambient Piano. Sounds like this. Pretty cool. So I think I'm at some sort of counter melody now. Basically for this MIDI, start out with uh, C sharp and I wanted it to go up to G sharp, but just like alternating between those two notes didn't really sound good. Feel me? So what I did is uh, kind of added these half steps, like I said before, kind of added these to it to add more attention to the melody. Instead of this note being on the same octave as the first note, I decided to pitch that up. Later, of course, it goes down to G sharp and then I uh, added this E and this D sharp. Also uh, the half steps to kind of alternate between this one right here, this one right here. Next, I copied that over and to make this part more unique, I uh, pitch this up an octave and then once again copy that over. So next I'm sending this to a mixer track and add some effects to it. So for the effects on that piano, started out with an EQ, cleaning it up a little bit, cutting some of the harsh frequencies out, and I boosted some of the high mids uh, in the EQ. Next, I added some more low frequencies to it, added this halftime, and I played around with the mix a little bit, next to um, pan it out from left to right, opened up Shaper Box, and also kind of sidechained it a little bit, so it kind of fades in. Next, I added some uh, more depth to it, added some delay, this preset right here, and some uh, reverb. Same for Hollow Vintage Verb, but I turned the mix up uh, a little bit. And lastly, to kind of glue it all together, kind of cleaning up a little bit, uh, open up another EQ, cut some of the mids out, and boost some of the high mids. Uh, so I'm still missing a little bit of a, a body in the melody, a little bit of character. So what I'm going to do is go into Keyscape, uh, get a preset, and lay down some root notes. Like I said, to add some body to it, I went into Keyscape and I got the LA Custom C7 Wash preset and I turned up the reverb uh, to add my own reverb. Next, what I did is I laid some root noise down, started on C sharp, the, the scale of the key. Key of the scale. I don't know why I said scale of the key, but uh, yeah, started on C sharp. Next, once again, wanted to add some tension to it. So went up to E, then to D sharp, then back to C sharp. And once again, half notes went up to A, to G sharp, and uh, to F sharp. When I had that laid down, I basically copied it over two more times to uh, make it sound more full. So you have some low end, some uh, mid definition, and some high end in the, in the piano melody. Then I sent it to a mixer track and only added two effects to it. Started with the EQ, kind of cleaning it up a little bit, added some high frequencies to it. To blend it in with the other melodies, got the same reverb preset to make it sound like it's in the same room, kind of gluing it together, if that makes sense. Uh, but I left the mix to 10%. So the reverb is very subtle, but it's noticeable. Just adds some depth to it. So next up, thing I like to do with some of my samples is get a tubular bell. I'm using the tubular bell for my drum kit right here. And then figure out what uh, pitch sounds best. Sounds good. So I'm going to set up to a mixer track and uh, put an EQ on it, maybe add some delay, some reverb uh, to make it sound less dry, because right now it sounds cool, but some effects could really make it sound a lot better. So 
So it just added EQ and some reverb to it. So now it's got a longer tail because of the reverb. As you can hear. And now that the tail is a lot longer, you can add this cool effect to it. So open up ShaperBox. You don't have to use ShaperBox. You could use a thousand other plugins that do the same thing. I'm going to automate the volume. I'm going to cut it in half right there. I'm going to make this, um, it's like little box shapes. I'm going to change the length to one eighth. Uh, and I kind of smoothen it out a little bit. Now it sounds like this. Really cool effect, but now the reverb gets affected by that effect. So I'm gonna copy that over once, once more. Uh, turn the mix down a little bit. So now there's reverb after the effect too. Instead of this. Really cool effect. And the thing is, like I said, if you don't know any music theory, these things will definitely step up your melodies a lot. Of course, you could play the most impressive piano melody known to mankind, but um, yeah, some cool effects come a long way too. So now we basically have five melodies right here. I think I'm gonna add like one or two more and then uh, get into the drums. So open up Arcade. I think I'm gonna get like the vocal chop. Uh, Distance Voices is my go-to bank. So yeah, I'm gonna browse through the banks and find a cool vocal chop. By the way, a quick bonus tip for making melodies without knowing any music theory is Infinite's Bank, Gatekeep Sounds Volume 1 actually got some midis in it, like I showed y'all before. These are royalty free, by the way, so be free to use them. So yeah, if you're struggling to lay down melodies and stuff like that, you could use these midis and just drag them in and start like that. Okay, that sounds cool. I'm gonna render that out since my CPU is not like an arcade. Shit, now that I have it rendered out, I'm gonna add some effects to it, maybe reverse it, pitch it down, and see where it takes me. So the vocal chop's pretty much done. I kind of shortened the first part a little bit. Next, I made it unique and reversed it. Kind of made it fade in with the new uh, FL21 feature. It's a little fade in tool. And I copied that over, sent it to a mixer track, and start out with the basic EQ, cutting everything under 500 hertz. Next, I added some delay to it. The settings right here. Click the ping pong preset to pan it out from uh, left to right. Next, added some reverb to it, put the mix to 30%. And lastly, to clean it up once again, remove some of the, the mids. Kind of the low mids and boost some of the high mids right here and also took some of the, the really high frequencies out so yeah all that's missing now is some low end so i'm gonna add a bass or a sub bass to For the sub bass, I uh, went into Analog Lab and I got the Distress preset from Gatekeep Sounds Volume 1. Next, copied over the root notes. Uh, we laid down a Keyscape before, but I pitched these up an octave. And lastly, for the effects on that, opened up this EQ and got um, one of these cuts and I cut everything above a thousand hertz. Uh, I cut that out. Yeah, that's it for the sample. So now all that's left is to put some drums on it. Yeah, like always, all the drum sounds I'm going to be using came from my drum kits. So I'm going to be using sounds from my Rook Season drum kit. 808s, claps, anything you need to lay down hard drums. If you're looking for some high quality drum samples, make sure to check that out as well. I'm gonna have it linked in the description. And I'm also gonna be using some of the sounds of my new upcoming drum kit. It's not out yet, uh, it's gonna be out soon. So make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram to stay notified when I drop this kit. Uh, so yeah, let's lay some drums down.
right, so that's pretty much it. That's how I make hard dark beats from scratch without knowing any music theory at all. I want to thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. Like always, uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I want to thank you for 11k. I don't even know how it happened, but we gained 1k subscribers in like two days. So uh, yeah, thank y'all for that. Also, don't forget to check out my boy Infinite's Gatekeep Sounds Boy in one kit. Uh, I have it linked in the first link in the description together with the promo code. So make sure to check that out. So yeah, that's it for me today. Make sure to let me know in the comments while y'all trying to see you next on the channel. And I'm out, man. So yes, that's it.